Hi everyone, so in this video I will be showing you how to download and run scaffold commands in Windows. So scaffold is a tool that helps developers streamline the development and deployment process of an application when working with Kubernetes. And so when we are developing an application that runs on Kubernetes, we often need to make changes to our source code. We build the application, update the Docker image and then deploy it on a Kubernetes cluster to see the latest changes. Right? So this process, if done manually, it can be very tedious and time consuming. And uh, so to, to see a change, we need to do it, do this uh, re uh, redeployment manually. So with scaffold, we can do it very easily because it takes care of the heavy lifting and uh, also the repetitive tasks that we need to do and allows us to focus on the code uh, because we can see the results immediately. And so when you execute the scaffold dev command in our project uh, root directory, it automatically detects the changes in our source code. and container configuration files. So scaffold rebuilds our application's container image and deploy it to your uh, Kubernetes cluster, ensuring that our changes are reflected in real time and we don't have to worry about uh, manually building and uh, deploying the application. So you can think, uh, think of it like an NPM package uh, called Nodemon, which uh, watches our changes in a node application. Like if you're building a server, it watches the files for changes and then restarts the server every time we make a change to the source code. Okay, so let's see how to install Scaffold in Windows. So I'll be going to a new tab on Chrome and then I'll search for Scaffold here. So we'll be heading over to scaffold.dev. This is the official website for Scaffold. And so when it's opened, so we go to get Scaffold in our IDE in this tab. And we can see that we'll be downloading a standalone binary package. So we have multiple environments or operating systems, so you have Linux, Mac OS, Windows. Since I'm in Windows, I'll be heading over to Windows tab and see we have to, I will be downloading the stable release version and we also have another version called as a bleeding edge build, which I think it provides update from the latest commit, yeah. So for now, I'll be downloading this stable release binary because this is uh, what is recommended. So I'll download it. Okay, so it's downloading. Okay, so, so our file has been downloaded. Okay, so this this particular command uh, statement here, it tells you to download the file and place it in your path as scaffold.exe. So this this is the only thing given for the installation instructions. Now we'll be seeing how to actually do that, how to actually run, uh, make scaffold work on Windows. So if I head over, if I run a command, open command prompt, and if I type scaffold, so it says it's not recognized uh, now because we haven't installed it yet. We haven't put scaffold in our path. So let's close this for now and let's go to that file where we down, which we downloaded. So it is on downloads here. So this is the file we downloaded scaffold my uh, hyphen window windows hyphen amd64.exe. So best practice is to just copy this file from here. We'll cut it rather and head over to windows local C and then I'll create a new folder called as scaffold. So new folder and let's rename it to scaffold. And then I'll go to that folder and paste this file here. Now I'll rename this file to just scaffold instead of this Windows AMD64. So I'll remove this. So Windows AMD64, remote, remote. And so it's now scaffold.exe. So now the renaming is done. Now we need to set this on the path, path variable, right? So we head over to this PC, we click on properties. We go to advanced system settings here. And then from here, we go to environment environment variables. And then here, these are two sections. We have user variables and we also have system variables. So we need to make changes to system variables because it will be applicable for every user in this computer. So we'll find the path, the path variable here. So path, here it is. We'll click, double click on it. And then we see that various paths are given for various programs and command shells. Then we'll click on the new button here. We'll need to now we need to paste the path of the scaffold.exe file. So let's head over to that particular directory where we copied it, which is here, and see we have in Windows C scaffold, right? So I'll press Alt D to just copy this path from here and control C. So I've copied this uh, C slash scaffold path and then go over to the environment variables and then and then I'll paste it here. So it's a new path here. So we press on OK, OK, and then OK again, right? Now let's say open CMD, and if I run scaffold, 
and what happens it doesn't show an error it is installed so we can now use scaffold it will be available globally on any particular uh, directory right any directory or any project that we are working on so that's all for the video hope you liked it and i will meet you in the next one